Thousands of restaurants around Chicago land and only a fraction of them win a spot at the Taste of Chicago. But this year, the 65 eateries that made the cut may not feel so lucky. With the annual food fest opening on Friday, Michelle Geelan explains why some vendors are losing their appetite. David Bajic will serve up sweet potato hash browns and fruit at the Taste of Chicago, but he's worried the experience will go sour on him. We don't want to lose money. If we broke even this year, that would be a wonderful thing. We would be happy. The problem? High gas prices are searing his budget because they're driving up the cost for all his ingredients. But prices of the taste were locked in almost a year ago, and Bajic and others cannot pass those higher costs on to tasters. If you don't have the volume and you don't sell enough and you don't do your planning right, I'm certain that there are some pitfalls that you can fall into and, and really hurt yourself. On top of that, the city's charging restaurants more to take part. Last year, a booth cost $20. $2,500. This year, it's four grand. Some restaurant owners say that higher gas prices could actually help. Because it's so expensive to get out of town, some people are vacationing right here in their own city. The owner of Bella Luna in River North says a restaurant owner he's friends with has done very well at many of the Chicago street fests this year. He said that he's noticed that his uh, margins have been up. He's up about 25%, so people probably aren't traveling as much. Bajic says restaurants at the Taste might be full Forced to raise prices next year. As for this year, he's praying for two things. And we're just hoping for good weather and we're hoping that people come. Michelle Gill, Fox News, Chicago. A suburban